Hi my friends on YouTube, it's Dino the Handyman and I'm back and we got an interesting video today because there's a hook and you want to know what the hook is? I, I got to glove up first before I show you because I hate playing with used toilet plungers. But uh, the homeowner complained about a Kohler, a, n a newer Kohler toilet, you know the one on the TV commercial where they like pour dog food down it and stuff and it never clogs up, it's one of those toilets. But it's clogged. And uh, he's been plunging it for days with this plunger of his to no avail. Uh, and look at that. Look at That's disgusting, man. I just got here. I didn't even look. That's disgusting. But you know what the problem is? And that's why I gloved up because that's disgusting. Oftentimes, I find a bad plunger in a house. And this is a bad plunger. And I'm going to show you why. Although it looks good, it's bad. I will leave my new plunger from the truck. I will leave it with them. I won't, once I use it, I won't put it back in the truck. I'll leave it with them. I'll charge them for it. You know, of course, with a markup. <clears throat> and, um, and I'll be on my way. And I'll go buy another new plunger to put in my truck. Because there's no way I'm putting something like this uh, back in, in my work truck. So, anyway, let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh, if we can show you what's going on, but I gotta get this, this, oh god, freaking toilet paper out of here, okay, okay, all right, okay, the deal with this plunger is the rubber over years has deteriorated to a point where it has no more spring to it, no more sponge, <clears throat> as I've told you in my other plunger video which I'm going to annotate to uh, probably right over here okay I put a little annotation to my other plunger video which gives you like you know plunger 101 lesson <clears throat> but uh, a toilet plunger has that thing in the bottom that pulls out makes the bell shape okay so this plunger is so old and the rubber is so decrepit that as soon as you put it in on the first plunge, this just pops back up inside. And then it becomes, although you can't use it, you can't interchange a toilet plunger and a sink plunger, but it changes to the shape of a sink plunger, which makes it useless because this ring that makes it into a bell shape is what seals around the bottom of the toilet where the waste goes down to give you some suction and stuff. So his, his collar toilet is clogged. He's been trying for days with this plunger, but this plunger is old and the rubber is no longer spongy and springy and it won't make a proper seal in the toilet. So this plunger is garbage. I have, now I'm not gonna touch that anymore, so, cause now we're on to a new, a brand new plunger from the brand new with the tag on it. So I, I never bought this type of plunger before, but they didn't have the kind that I usually get. There wasn't any left, so I got this one. But I figured it was nice because it comes with this little um, holder where you don't have to look at the uh, the ugly plunger. So uh, um, I'm gonna cover up the brand, but it has a like a mushrooming out uh, uh, base. And when you put it in, it closes up like that, which is, I guess, kind of neat and stuff. So, uh, there's also a sticker on it that we have to take off. And we're getting there, we're getting there, don't worry. I'm going to show you that the toilet is indeed clogged. And uh, I'm not going to waste your time showing you that old plunger because you saw it all that wipes, the, the butt wipes stuck in there, so we know that it doesn't work. And, um, I tried it the other day anyway, and on my first my first plunge, I felt that the rubber was just like shot. No more spring, no more sponge to it. Deteriorated from age, from the chemicals in the water, the chlorine, and um, you conspiracy people, the fluorides and stuff have eaten the... But it's probably, uh, taking a look at this thing, it's probably 15 years old, so... Uh, I mean, just the, the uh, deterioration of, of natural rubber just sitting for 15 years, it's going to deteriorate. Okay, so okay, so there it goes. It opens up, okay? It opens up, and the plunger comes out. 
what we're going to do is take it, because it's a brand new plunger, I don't have to put gloves on. We're going to make it into the bell shape. And just to check it, if it was on the floor, we were done with it. Okay? It sits in that holder. So there we go. We got our bell shape. We got our brand new plunger that has good spring to it. It's going to make a nice seal around the bottom. And we're going to be able to get some pressure generated. Okay, with the spring of this thing, we're going to get some pressure generated, and we're going to blow that clog right out of the toilet. Here is the modern Kohler toilet. Check it out. As I flush, it's not swirling and going down. It's just sitting there. Now, I like a lot of water in a toilet when I plunge, so I actually want to hold this lever down, and that's all gone over in that Toilet 101 plunging video that I'm annotating to. Place the plunger over the waist hole and vigorously do your plunging. If it doesn't work the first time, wait for the tank to fill up. Flush it again because I like the water level high when I plunge. Because it gives a better seal around the plunger and it gives more weight. The water has more weight to push the clog out. If this doesn't work, we're going to use the toilet auger. In other words, the snake, the toilet snake. And uh, we'll get it that way, but I always like to try plunging first. Uh, I can't be too confident about that. I don't think it did anything. They're also complaining of a loose toilet seat. This is the Kohler toilet seat. It has those little caps. Oh, you see it? How it's loose? So this has those little caps that come off or, or uh, lift up, okay? And there's two screws there. They're Phillips. This is the teenage boy's bathroom. And to properly tighten these screws up underneath, right here, underneath these two screws and bolts, under, right underneath that hold the toilet seat to the porcelain. Being that it's a boy's toilet, they got really bad aim, all men, old men, young men, middle-aged men, they all got bad aim. <gasps> and if you look underneath, it's always crusted with like dried urine. If it was a little old lady's house, I would just reach under and touch it because I know it's gonna be spotless. They always get what they're doing in the bowl. So I'm holding the bolt underneath with this Kleenex because I don't want to get dry urine on my hands. And I'm just going to tighten this up. Okay, first two, I want to check that the seat is in a good position to be tightened. And I'm not tightening in it while it's crooked. Okay. Okay, that's it. Toilet seat's tight. We snap these back down. That job is done. Toilet seat's nice and secure. Our tank just finished filling up. These collars, oh, these newer collars, they always got like an odd shape in the bottom that doesn't really match the shape of the plungers, where the older toilets always had a round hole in the bottom. See, that's a triangle hole, and I got a round plunger. And even when I attempt to put it in a good spot, I could see there's an opening there, and at each corner, there's three openings about like that, that all the pressure that I push down is escaping. You can see it. the pressure just escaping from around from around a plunger, we're not getting a good seal. So uh, anyway, there's a new plunger for the customer. I'm gonna go out to the truck and get the toilet auger. Okay, I'm gonna glove up again. Oh my God! Because I got uh, my toilet auger, or a toilet snake. And at least I'm gonna get to show my viewers and anyone else that clicks on the video how to snake out a toilet. So it's not as easy as you think. It's very easy with these augers to scratch the porcelain inside the bowl and basically ruin your toilet because it's going to look like you got like a, a poo poo stain in there forever because when the porcelain gets scratched, it gets scratched by, uh, I keep it in this case, but I actually have two. I got a sink and a toilet auger in here. Okay, here's the toilet auger. So when it gets scratched, it gets scratched by this heavy-duty coil spring uh, snaggy part. 
and it's rusty metal and it scratches the porcelain and it leaves traces of rust and it looks like it looks like a doo-doo stain in forever, you know? And uh, that's why there's always rubber on these on this little bottom section here because this is what's supposed to touch the porcelain, not the metal cable. So I'll show you how to do that. Basically what you want to do is here's the end of the, of the order, okay? And there's that twist handle is over here, okay? We want to pull the handle up so that the big spring head is right at the end right there, okay? See that? And now the handle is all the way up, okay? We want it like this. So you pull, you pull this handle all the way up and you get that spring head right at the end there. Now we're gonna duck this pin to the hole in the bottom of the toilet without letting this head of it scratch the porcelain. So check it out. Look at that beautiful camera angle. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it in there so that only the rubber protector is touching the porcelain that you can see. Now we're going to start to snake it. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is hold the, hold the auger at the handle, the low handle with my left hand. And with my right hand I'm going up to this top handle. As I push down, I'm going to be twisting it until I get the top handle all the way down to the other handle. And that will push that whole snake all the way up around the trap of the toilet and down to basically where the wax ring seals to the floor. Where, indeed, the pipe gets bigger, so theoretically, any clog in the toilet is going to be like inside the toilet and not down in the pipe because it turns to a four inch pipe at the floor where inside the toilet as it goes through the porcelain it might only be two and a half three inch passageway so i'm twisting and i'm pushing and i'm and if i run into a tough spot i'll pull it back it out and then start again i'm a couple of inches away from being but i run into tough spots i'm back it out reposition and twist and pushing at the same time. Oh, you're such an idiot. Almost. Alright, I'm right within like an inch, okay? If it doesn't want to go any more thing, I'll pull it out, see what happens. If we have to do it again, we'll do it again. So, uh, Again, I don't want to scratch the porcelain, so pulling it out is going to be reverse of putting it in. I'm going to pull it so that that head is up inside the protective rubber. And show you guys the actual first flush. The little brown tint you see in the water is the rust from the inside of the toilet auger. Oh, beautiful. So that was it. We snaked it out. Whatever it was went down the pipe because there's no trace of it left on my spring head so uh, I would think it was probably toilet paper or something like that because anything else was like a toothbrush or a um, rag or paper towels or something a little stronger than TP it would have come up on the head of the auger but it didn't it went down so uh, whatever it was it was probably just a whole big wad of uh, freaking paper and they clogged once and they didn't realize it and they used it again with more paper and they flushed it again and it just kept backing up against each other. I made a big wad of paper and I just shredded it and it went down. We had a hook which was the clogged toilet. We showed you how to unclog it in two different ways. One with a plunger and if it didn't work to come with the toilet auger and we showed you the correct way to use it is to not scratch the porcelain inside the... I mean that's like an $800 Kohler toilet. We don't want to leave scratches in, in the porcelain that will they'll be there forever. So we showed you that and uh, we actually unclogged the toilet. So I will get paid for this job. Like 125 plus, maybe 20 for the plunger that I paid like 7 for. So, um, 
but I got a lot more work to do in this house. But that's just uh, for instance. Never give away your uh, your expertise and your labor for. Uh, don't undersell yourself is what I'm trying to say. So there was our hook. That was our finish. Thanks for watching, guys. My YouTube friends, sub to my channel while you're here because that really helps me out with this YouTube gig. The comment box below is there for questions and comments. Either I'll answer them or some other YouTuber can help you. If you got any questions, use that box. That's what it's there for. Have a nice day.